Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss zero of analytic function f of z. Okay, so let us discuss the definition first, then we will discuss few examples. Okay, a point z0, so this is any complex number, okay, so any point in a complex plane is said to be zero of an analytic function f of z if f of z0 is equal to 0, z0 is equal to 0. So that means if we have complex plane like this and z0 is any arbitrary point. So when we say it is a 0 of any analytic function f of z, if you replace z by z0, and if you solve, you will get its value 0. Then we say it is a 0 of f of z. That point need not be 0. Huh? It can be 0, it cannot be 0. Getting, But it will give the value of function will be 0. So let us discuss one simple example. Suppose f of z is equal to z square minus 3z plus 2. So this function we have. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put z is equal to 1. So let us see what will happen if I put z is equal to 1. At a place of z, I'm going to put 1, 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 2. 1 square is 1, 3 into 1 is 3 and 2. If you solve it, you will get the value 0. By putting z is equal to 1, we are getting value 0. So therefore, we will declare, therefore, z is equal to 1 is a... 0 of f of z getting that point is not 0 here but it will give the value of function is 0 so that's why we call it as a 0 of analytic function f of z okay so if you understood this concept make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so now let us see how to find order of 0 okay order of 0 so if f of z0 is 0, but average of z0 is not equal to 0. Getting? So, if you put z is equal to z0 in a function, it will its value will be 0. But if you put the same value in a derivative of function, its value is non-zero. Then we say it is a 0 of order 1. Okay. Then z0 is a simple 0 or 0 of first order or you can say order 1 ok so this is definition of simple 0 or 0 of order 1 so let us go further if f of z0 is 0 average of z0 that is also 0 but f double dash of z0 is non zero getting if you, are, if you put the value of uh, z is equal to z0 here, its value is 0. If you put the same value in derivative of function, then also its value is 0. But if you put the value in double derivative, its value is non-zero, then we say it is a 0 of order 2. Get it? Then z0 is a 0 of order 2. So, will you guess the definition of 0 of order 3? Yes, obviously. Okay, try to say. If f of z0 is 0, f dash of z0 is 0, f double dash of z0, that is also 0. But third derivative of f at z0 is not equal to 0. Then we say z0 is a 0 of order 3. Okay. Then z0 is a 0 of order 3. So, in this way, uh, yes, we declare when we say the 0 of order 3. So, let us write this statement in general. So, if f of z0 is equal to 0, f dash of z0 that is also 0, f double dash of z0 that is also 0, in this way, n minus 1 derivative of f of f at z0 is 0, but nth derivative 
of f at z0 is non zero then z0 is a zero of order n so in this way we find the order of zero getting so it's all previous derivatives are zero but the nth derivative is non zero then we say z0 is zero of order n so let us discuss few examples okay just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so in this example we will find the zero of this function as well as we will find its order okay so what do you think what i should put so that the value of function will be zero so obviously if i put z is equal to 1 the value will be zero so f of 1 if i put 1 here 1 minus 1 will be zero right so 0 into e raised to 1 is e which is zero so you can declare therefore z is equal to 1 is a 0 of f of z. So now we are interested uh, in finding its order. Okay, so let us find its derivative and we will put z is equal to 1 again. Now let us find its derivative. What will be the derivative of this function? So let us find derivative z minus 1 e raised to z. So as you can see here, we have a product of two functions. So when you find derivative, we have to use product rule. That means first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first. Let us do that z minus 1 derivative of e raised to z plus e raised to z derivative of z minus 1. z minus 1 as it is derivative of e raised to z is e raised to z obviously plus e raised to z minus sign is there so we take a separate separate derivatives derivative of z is 1 and derivative of 1 is 0 since 1 is constant let us simplify it further z into e raised to z minus 1 into e raised to z 1 into e raised to z so plus e raised to z minus e raised to z will get cancelled to each other and we will have z e raised to z so I will put the value of z is 1 again. Okay, so z is equal to 1. I am going to put it here. That means here. So 1 into e raised to 1, which is e itself. So obviously it is not equal to 0. So what we got, z is equal to 1. Okay, f of 1 is 0, but f dash of 1 is not equal to 0. That means 1 is a 0 of order 1, or you can say it is a simple 0. So therefore, z is equal to 1 is a simple 0 of f of z. Okay, let us discuss one more example, just make a screenshot of it. So let us discuss this next example. Okay, so what is the function we have z square sin z and we have to find its 0 along with its order. Okay, what do you think what I should put so the value of function will be 0. So the obvious guess is 0. If I put z is equal to 0, then value of function will be 0. But see, before that, what will I do? We have to find its order also. Now to make it more simple, what will I do? I will write the series of sin z. I am writing z square as it is. Sin z can be expressed in a form of series and that series is z minus z cube by 3 factorial z is to 5 by 5 factorial and so on okay so this is the series of sin z let us multiply each term by this z square so we'll get z cube minus z square into z cube z is to 5 by 3 factorial plus z is to 5 into z square z is to 7 by 5 factorial and so on right so i, I express the f of z in the form of series so by putting z is equal to 0, obviously we will get 0, but we have to find its order. So that's why I will find its derivatives first. Let us find derivatives f dash of z. Minus plus signs are there. So that's why obviously we can take separate separate derivatives. Derivative of z cube is 3z square. That 3 factorial is a constant. So I will write as it is z is to 5. Its derivative is 5z is to 4. 5 factorial is a constant. I am writing as it is. Derivative of z raised to 7 is 7 z raised to 6 and so on. So I got the derivatives. Here I am using the formula of derivative. Derivative of z raised to n is n z raised to n minus 1. This is very simple and basic formula I am using everywhere, right? 
I will go for the second derivative also. Let us see what will happen. Second derivative, okay. 3 is constant. I am applying the same formula here. So 3 into 2, let me show you here. 3 into derivative of z square is 2z. So that's why 3 into 2, 6z I am directly writing. Same thing I will do here. 5 is a constant will be as it is. Derivative of z raised to 4 is 4z cube. So it, it means it is 20z cube by 3 factorial. Here, here 42 z raised to 5 by 5 factorial and so on. So I got the second derivative also. Let us go for the third derivative also. Third derivative. Derivative of 6z is 6 obviously. 6 is constant. Derivative of z is 1. 1 into 6, 6 minus same formula I will use 3 into 20 60 z square by 3 factorial and so okay derivatives will be there. So now I will put z is equal to 0 in each of them and let us see what will happen. Now f of 0 I am going to put 0 here okay 0 everywhere everywhere I am going to put 0 0 0 0 0 so all terms will be 0 so obviously f of 0 is 0. Let us think about f dash of 0. This is f dash of z. Let us put z is equal to 0 everywhere. Here 0 if I put 3 into 0, 0 let me show you minus. Here if I put 0, 0 into anything, 0, 0 into anything, 0. Everywhere we are getting so 0. So the answer will be 0. Uh, let me write the next part here. f double dash of 0 f double dash of 0. Okay, here f double dash of z we have. If I put 0 here, 0 into anything 0, 0 into anything 0. So, obviously, we will get 0. So, let us talk about third derivative of f at 0. So, here I am putting 0, but see 6 is a constant and there is no any z as a multiple of 6. So, 6 will be as it is getting as it is. 6 will be as it is minus if I put 0 here, 0 into anything 0 and the same story will repeat for all remaining terms. So, obviously, we will get zeros. All terms will be zeros. So, 6. So, here we get the first non-zero value getting. We are getting first non-zero value. Otherwise, we are getting 0 everywhere. So, at third derivative, we are getting the first non-zero value. So, we say 0 is a 0 of order 3. Let me mention therefore, z is equal to 0 is a 0 of order 3. So, in this way we find 0 with its order. Okay. So, let us find uh, remaining zeros also. Let me show you here. Let me remove this part. It is not required now. Now, let us see what will happen if I put z is equal to pi f of pi f of pi. If I put pi here, you will get pi square and sin pi. So, do you know how to find the value of sin pi? The value of sin pi is 0, but you can find it with the help of calculator. Getting? Just convert your calculator in radian mode and find out sin pi, you will get its value 0. So, pi square into 0 is obviously 0. Okay. So, yeah, pi is also 0. Uh, but see, we will find its order also. So, for that, I need to find its derivative. Let us find derivative. F dash of z first. Okay, I am going to find the derivative of z square sin z. So, here we have product of two functions. So, I should use product rule to find the derivative first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first. So, there is no more space. Okay, no more space. So, that is why I will write the derivative directly. Okay z square as it is derivative of sin z is cos z plus sin z as it is derivative of z square is 2z. My technique is very simple. First, we write as it is derivative of second plus second function I write as it is and derivative of first function is 2z. So, I got the derivative. Let us put the pi. f dash of pi. Pi square cos pi plus sin pi into 2 pi. Cos pi is minus 1 with the help of calculator you can easily find. So, it is minus pi, minus 1. Sin pi is 0. So, it is 0 into anything 0. So, its value is minus pi square. So, what I want to say it is non-zero value. So, 
f of pi is 0 but f dash of pi is non-zero so that's why pi is a simple 0. Therefore, z is equal to pi is a simple 0. Okay, So, in this way you can prove that minus pi, 3 pi, minus 3 pi, 5 pi, minus 5 pi all these are simple zeros of given function f of z. So, in this way we have and here uh, completed what is a 0 of a analytic function and how to find its order. Make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. See you. Meet you in next lecture.